Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Professor Judy Williams, the Associate Vice President for Teaching, Learning and Students. And it is my great pleasure to welcome you to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of Whitworth Hall for this graduation. In particular, I would like to welcome all of our graduates whose hard work and magnificent achievements in the face of marked adversity, we are all here to celebrate today. You have met and overcome challenges that have not been known for a century, making these achievements even more remarkable. The skills, knowledge, and experience you've developed during your time here with us have given you a strong platform, not only to build your career, but to achieve your goals and succeed in the face of any obstacle that comes your way. We are also delighted to see so many friends, family and supporters here today. And we thank you for the support and encouragement that you've given to our graduates during their studies. We know that it's been hard for you too, but it's been so important to their success. And you can all be extremely proud of what they've achieved their tutors and members of staff from across their schools and faculties certainly are. And I would like to say a huge thank you to the school and faculty colleagues who are here and all those who have worked across the university to make graduation special for you all. When those of you who are graduating today chose the University of Manchester, you decided to make your mark on the future, not only for yourselves, but for the greater good of society and the environment. Throughout the course of your studies and life at the university, you will have gained the skills and knowledge to find success and become responsible leaders of the future. Although you might be glad to see the back of assignments for now, the planning, the research and the writing skills you nurtured and put to good use will be of great value in the world of work or perhaps further study. And of course, we must not forget the strong, supportive friendships and relationships that you've forged while being here that I hope you will sustain for many years to come. Put simply, your achievements in completing your degree cannot be overestimated given the challenging times that we've faced, not only as a community, but as citizens of the world. Obtaining your degree is a huge important milestone, especially given the global challenges that you've overcome. But this is not the end of your journey and your association with Manchester. We are proud to have one of the largest alumni communities of any campus-based university in the UK, with over half a million graduates in over 190 different countries around the world, all linking back to Manchester. And as alumni, you can help future students in so many different ways, as ambassadors of the university, in providing student placements or employment, and directly developing the university, which is vital for our future. Now, coming back to today, please let me encourage you to enjoy the ceremony. After all, this is a massive celebration, and you've waited a long time for it. To our friends, families, and supporters, graduation is not really a spectator, port, uh, sorry, spectator sport. We want you to join in and have a fantastic time. These are grand surroundings, but we all belong here. So please do clap, do cheer, do whoop if you fancy, enjoy yourselves. But please can I ask that you remain in your seats so the person behind you can enjoy their special moment as well. And to all of you graduating, relax first. We're here to help you. I hope there will be no tripping, slipping, or falling across the stage. But if you are doing that, we're here to help and try and catch you if that happens. So I wish you that you glide with ease as you come across here and have a marvelous day. And I sincerely hope that today will not be your last contact with the university. And remember that our doors are always open to you. Thank you very much.
Vice President, colleagues, graduates with families and friends. I am delighted to congratulate all the graduates in obtaining your degrees. It is especially pleasing to be able to celebrate your success in the wonderful setting of the Whitworth Hall after two years of doing most things online. Colleagues in the school are extremely proud of what you have achieved in such unusual and uniquely challenging times. We hope that you have found your time at Manchester intellectually and academically challenging and stimulating. Whatever else studying for a degree gives you, the experience should have both challenged and inspired you. I want to express my enormous gratitude to colleagues in the departments for having provided you with that experience. For many of you, I have no doubt it would have transformed your lives, though you may not know it yet. Please join me in thanking the teaching and support staff for all their efforts and dedication, especially during these difficult few years. This ceremony brings together students from a number of different disciplines within the school. Some of you are graduating with degrees in creative subjects, drama, film, music, and languages, subjects which have a very long tradition in Manchester. Practice-based subjects such as these have been particularly challenged during the pandemic, and it is to the credit of the students as well as the staff to have overcome the massive obstacles and to have graduated successfully. Other students are graduating with degrees in art history and cultural practices, subjects that benefit enormously from being taught in a university and a city that is literally bursting with creativity. Not many universities in the world can boast two important museums such as the Whitworth and the Manchester Museum or a globally leading library such as the John Rylands. Students graduating with the degrees in English literature or history should be proud that you are following in the long tradition of others who have graduated in these subjects from this university. Manchester was one of the first in the UK to offer these degree programs in the 19th century. Since then, the university has expanded into American studies, creative writing, linguistics, translation, and intercultural communication. Students graduating with a degree in languages should be equally proud that the Department of Modern Languages and Cultures offers a breadth of language-based study hardly equaled anywhere in the UK, attracting students from across the globe. Classics, archaeology, ancient history, religion and theology similarly have a long tradition of offering internationally renowned degree programs at Manchester. All of our degree, degrees embrace the rich intellectual benefits of interdisciplinary study. As students graduating from the Humanitarian and Conflict Response Institute, or HCRI, demonstrate our interdisciplinary work reaches well beyond the arts and humanities. The Institute collaborates with the World Health Organization, Save the Children, Médecins Sans Frontières, and the Red Cross through joint programs such as those in global health. Whatever aspects of the arts and humanities you have studied, that which unites you is an interest in the inquiry of what makes us human, the creation of human identity, and the examination of what it means to be part of that humanity. The subjects you have studied confront the most controversial and exciting issues of the time such as inequalities, conflicts, and the relationships between the local and the global. They signal the university's commitment to exploring the grand challenges of the day, and they ensure that you will be ready to engage with fellow human beings in a responsible, aware, and intellectually critical manner. This is also incidentally why we are wearing gowns today partly to honor an ancient tradition, no doubt, but also for a symbolic reason. Gowns are worn by priests, 
judges, and professors because they symbolize their independence and their responsibility to uphold the truth. Michael Pogliani, who fled Nazi Europe in 1933 and was offered the first chair of social sciences here at Manchester, spoke of the importance of academic freedom and of not subjugating it to the interests of the state. He especially made observations about how the Soviet state sought to direct academic and scientific research and argued that academic independence requires the freedom to debate. These concerns that Polanyi spoke of not too long ago are a source of anxiety to colleagues in many countries. Those of us who are fortunate enough not to face them in our daily life are concerned that universities in this country and other countries are living in difficult times. As we congregate here to celebrate your achievement, we also reaffirm the importance of the university's mission and values. We believe deeply in the educational mission of the university. And I'm therefore pleased to confirm that the school will this year once again offer a 3,000 pound bursary to any student graduating from the university with a first class degree who registers on one of our MA programs. As graduates, you will enter a new phase of your relationship with the University of Manchester. We very much hope that you will continue to be part of the extended community of alumni and supporters to nurture an interest in the life of the university and our students and to take pride in the collective achievements of this great institution. The loyalty, support, and goodwill of our students are the foundation of our future. Please keep in touch with us and visit us when you're back in Manchester. After this ceremony, I invite you all to join colleagues and your fellow graduates for a reception at the uh, graduation marquee where drinks and treats will be served. The only thing that remains for me to do now is to wholeheartedly wish you every happiness and success in both life and work. Thank you. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the School of Arts, Languages and Cultures for the postgraduate research degrees. Laura Chambers. <laughs> Joseph Thomas, Thomas Ford. Sylvanan Rebecca Gerard. <laughs> Julia McLaughlin. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Morford. <laughs> James Henry Nissen. Courtney Ann Stickland. <laughs> Therese Marie Sunga. <laughs> and for the Postgraduate Taught Awards, Sharta Alamadi. Lisa Albertson. <laughs> Poppy Appleby. <laughs> C. 
Seda Ari. Amy Hull Callaghan. Christopher Alexander Cook. Deirdre Corish. Guy Dom. Hannah Lee Donahue. Grace Rathna Dutt. Ruth Phoebe Griggs. Erica Jade Hall. Alexander Dukes. <laughs> Natasha Joyce K. Spotelli. <laughs> Sophie Louise Lang. <laughs> Amy Lefeuve. Chun Lee. <laughs> Ruby Martin. <laughs> Eleanor Frances McAdam. <laughs> Emily Mary Mosscrop. Adam Robert North. <laughs> Caitlin Georgia O'Connor. <laughs> Samantha Oates Miller. <laughs> Sam Pennell. James Rawlinson. Ab Abigail Kate Shaw. Lauren Marie Smethurst. Bryony Jane Spencer. Georgia Saffron Thomas. <laughs> Lucy Vofk. <laughs> Zoe Wells. <laughs> Kalinda Wilson. Charlotte Imogen Woods. And for the undergraduate awards, Daniel Gribbin. <laughs> Beverly Adjakoum. <laughs> Ruby Imogen Allen. <laughs> Rebecca Bassey. <laughs> Tara Beasley. <laughs> Ryan Samuel Bibi John.
Theo Bennett. <laughs> Madalena Kate Bindi. <laughs> Henry Bolden. <laughs> Neve Borman. Alexandra Hannah Bolden. <laughs> Rebecca Megan Bream. <laughs> Eleanor K. Brearley. <laughs> Jack David Brown. Cormac Bruce. <laughs> William Byrne. <laughs> Amelia Alice Calloran. <laughs> Georgia Holly Church. Gabriel Clark. <laughs> Oscar Cloud. <laughs> Olivia Anna Coleman. <laughs> Callum Edward Coleman. Hannah Jane Crowther. <laughs> Catherine Ann Curtis. <laughs> Patricia Sebinska. <laughs> Iona de Chalon. Lauren Grace Dinaj Berry. <laughs> Ellen Tiger Tarifa Dean. <laughs> Philippa Ann Dennis. <laughs> Amy Dewa. Baron Kwame Badu Donko. <laughs> Lubov Alexeyevna Donskaya. <laughs> Molly East. <laughs> Catherine Edwards. Manuela Omoruro Ajazi Tobrishi. <laughs> Adrian Kate Elliot Wilkinson. <laughs> Alice Olivia Empson. Natalie L. Essex. <laughs> Lucy Everington. <laughs> Javier Fedrick. <laughs> Lola Francesca Jan Ferguson. Alina Philip.
Olivia Finlay. Jordan Fleary. Gronya Flynn. Lauren Furness. Sinead Maria Constance Gad. Gary Gannon. Holly Gardner. Lucy Margaret Giddings. Maya Elizabeth Giletzi. Abigail Grosvenor. Alexander Grubb. <laughs> Eleanor Page Hall. Claire Hardy. May Harper. Olivia Grace Harper. <laughs> Joseph Harris. <laughs> Amy Harris Dow. <laughs> Helena Hart Watson. Billy Harvey Munro. Yeah. Tomo Hashiba Charlton. Adam James Hitchen. Alice Mary Isabel Holiday. Kirsty Hollins. Ewan Hopkins. Libby Jackson. Bronte James. Philippa Janssen. <laughs> Isabella Jewell. <laughs> Neil John. <laughs> Jessica May Jones. Sadie Jones. Patience Panjira. Ellen Kay. Megan Kerry. Olivia Kirill. <laughs> Georgina Langler. <laughs> Ma
William Lear. Eric Magnus Lever. Yolanda Lindsay Clark. John Alexander Little. Eileen Loftus. Alexander James Lawrence Lower. Kai Marshall. Eleanor Barbara Martin. Amy Rose McInerney. Emily Nicole McIntyre. <laughs> Rowan McCluskey. Erin <laughs> McCormack. <laughs> Hannah Mitchell. Beatrice Elena Morgan. Esme Morley. Bluebell Monroe. Thomas Murphy. Jody Louise Naylor. <laughs> Jennifer Elizabeth Nuttall. <laughs> Ottilie Nye. <laughs> Sarah O'Flynn. Neve O'Toole. <laughs> Kwame Rakabali Awusu. <laughs> Lara Paul. <laughs> William Penny. Christopher Perrin. <laughs> Olivia Phillips. <laughs> Joshua Physic. <laughs> Alexia Pieretti. Anna Louise Platz. Robert James Pope. Christina Purvis. Frank Frederick Radcliffe Adams. Rosie Randall. <laughs> Jodie Rich. <laughs> Alicia Robinson. <laughs> Elizabeth Romackney.
Joseph Rooney. Lydia Rose Rustant. Florence Rosen Stevens. Grace Sandford. Marta Santi. Jessie Lizeth Sarzosa Landetta. Amy Savage. Amber Sharif. Lola Shaw. Eve Ellen Small. Frederick Smith. Elizabeth Rachel Smith. Heather Sterling. Lydia Stroud. Megan Lucy Studdart Kennedy. Anna Andrea Cronson Tiga. <laughs> Rosie Mary Thackeray. <laughs> Freya Rosa Thompson. <laughs> Amalia Thorogood. Paul Alexander Treadaway. John Edward Underwood. Thomas Valerio. Sarah Van Den Boomgaard. Ella Lee Vincenti. <laughs> Sasha Vucetic Farah. <laughs> Kenan Vergen. <laughs> Tobias James Becken Weston. Meg Worley. Thomas, Thomas Oliver White. Estelle White. Samuel Robert Widowson. Thomas Oliver Williams. Darcy Elizabeth Youngman. Flora Zapula. School of Social Sciences and for the Postgraduate Taught Awards, Gabriel Barnett. <laughs> School of Arts, Languages and Cultures, and for the Undergraduate Awards, 
Lily Bovell. Oscar Slater. Dara Kathleen Irwin. Lily O'Reilly. Yu Chen Kue. Georgia Emily Blackmore Hayes. Thank you very much, everybody. And I am delighted to say there were no trips, slips, and I wasn't needed to catch anybody on the stage. So all of that training has now gone to waste. If you need me later in the marquee, just let me know. I'll be there for you. Now, we've just got one last piece of work to do. So please, can I ask the graduates to stand? Please, may I ask you to find or, or face your supporter, friend, or family and give them a great big thank you for all of the emotional support that they've given you. Now that's the quietest they've ever been while they've been with us at the university. I now want you to give a great big thank you for all the financial support that they've given you. Come on. And if I could ask our family, friends and supporters, if you're possible, if you could stand please. And I'd like to ask you to join me in congratulating our graduates. Now, I think we can be louder than them. And this may be the first time ever that we've been louder than them. So come on, join in with me. Well done, everybody. On behalf of... Oh. On behalf of the university, I once, once again congratulate all of you on your excellent achievements, and I wish you every success and happiness in your future lives and careers. I now declare the ceremony closed. Thank you all so much. Woo!